I want to select the entire document. So what will I do? I will click Ctrl plus A together. Ctrl plus A together. Okay. Ctrl A. And see my entire document has been selected. Deleting a text. Girls, this is important. So put a bracket. To delete or to remove a character, place the cursor to its right underline and press the backspace key once underline backspace key or place the cursor to its left and press the delete key once suppose i want to erase this word this word might i will place the cursor here okay see where is my cursor yes here and i will click what i will click the backspace button see I'm clicking on the backspace button and the word might is erased okay now if I place the cursor here to the left of this word might then I have to use what I have to use delete key see girls this one is the delete key just see one uh, M I G H T yes can you see it the word has been erased one is undo and redo command the undo and redo commands are present on the quick access toolbar the undo command is used to cancel the last action done in the document and the redo command is used to cancel the action of the undo command here the shortcut keys undo for undo the shortcut key is control plus z and for redo the shortcut key is control plus y see this is the undo and this is the redo command okay I want to write here something suppose ram is a boy and i want to delete this sentence so what can I do I will simply backspace it okay now I want to undo what I have done so what will I do I will simply click here see this line is back now again I want to delete it so what will I do I will again click on the redo command see my line is vanished or what else I can do I can use shortcut keys so for undoing what will I do I will click control plus Z control Z together and the line Ram is a boy is back and for redoing control control plus y so we will click control plus y together and again the line is vanished okay girls here is a class activity you will do it now the next one is copying text so bracket copying means to create a duplicate copy of the selected text bracket close again start bracketing the selected text remain at both the location after copying to copy text copy and paste command are used suppose i want to copy this line once upon a time there lived a mountain which was so high and so on okay i want to select this line i want to copy this line sorry for that i have to select it first yes i'm selecting it now i want to copy it here so what will I do? I will select it. Then there is an option called copy. Can you see? Yes. I have copied it. Now I want to copy it here. So I will place my cursor here. And I will simply do what? See? There is an option called paste. I will simply click on the onto that option. Paste. And see? 
that line has been pasted here text moving means to shift the selected text to another location the selected text is deleted from its original location after moving to move text cut and paste commands are used girls you have to learn the keyboard shortcuts to see the shortcut for cut is control plus x copy control plus c and paste control plus v i want to move this line it stood alone in the blue sky this line so what will i do i will simply select it first and i'll cut it see this line is removed and now i want to paste it here so what will i do this option called paste i'll paste it here see this line is removed from its original location and now it is pasted here i am showing you the shortcut keys for cut copy and paste first let me show you copy for copying the shortcut key is control plus c i want to copy this line my name is shuparna shen shuparna all right so i'll select the text and control plus c this line is copied now i want to paste it here what will i do control plus v see this line has been pasted so copy and paste is done now now i want to cut this line this line which is selected i want to cut it what will i do i'll use the shortcut key that is control plus s x sorry control x see girls the line has been cut now i will paste it here what will i click what is the shortcut key the shortcut key is control v control v see that line has been moved from there and it is now here spell check ms word also helps us in identifying spelling and grammatical mistake now put a bracket the spelling mistakes are highlighted with red wavy lines the grammatical mistakes are highlighted with green wavy lines to correct the spelling right click on the word a pop up menu opens with a list of suggested words choose the correct word from the list click on ignore if you want to keep the word as it is and remove the wavy line under it see the word painting here and cooking see the sp spelling is wrong so the computer has already indicated me that the spelling is wrong with the help of the red line can you see and here my mother are a homemaker so this is grammatically wrong isn't it so the computer has indicated me with the green wavy line all right now i want to correct this spelling so what will i do i will click the word and then there is a some option the computer will show me some option of the spellings and i'll choose the correct spelling and i'll click it see now the correct spelling is here and i want to correct it also correct this one also my mother our homemaker it is grammatically wrong i want to correct it what will i do i will select it and i'll ask the computer what is the right grammar and the computer will show me the right answer my mother is a homemaker all right see can you see it i want to correct this spelling also the spelling of cooking what will i do i will select the word and the computer will show me the correct spelling i'll simply click click it okay we will read the shortcut key for spelling and grammar check that is f7 now let us study the fact box the red and green wavy lines seen in the word document do not appear on the paper when we print it 
that is when we print the document now girls you will read only this line the auto correct option automatically corrects the spelling at the time of typing if your auto correct option is selected beforehand then it will automatically correct the spelling at the time of typing okay find and replace is basically finding all the wrong spellings of grammar and replacing it with the correct thing see the find option i will click here and the spelling of this painting is wrong so what will i do i will write the spelling here painting the wrong spelling and i will click here and see the painting the wrong spelling painting has been highlighted i want to find all the wrong spelling of painting what will i do i'll click highlight all and see all the wrong spellings of painting has been highlighted can you see what is the function of replace here see girls i'll click replace and find what i'll replace the spelling painting so i will write the wrong spelling of painting what whatever wrong i have written here i have written p a i n t w i n g so i have written the wrong spelling of painting here and i'll replace it with the correct spelling what is the correct spelling p a i n t i n g okay and i'll click replace all now see word has completed its search of the document and has made for replacement girl see all the four wrong spelling of painting has been corrected now see this is the right spelling see can you see it yes now i want to change the spelling of cooking what will i do i will replace the spelling of cooking what is my wrong spelling c double o k l i n g i have written this spelling and my correct spelling is c double o k i n g i and replace all see girls all the wrong spelling of cooking has been corrected now can you see it so we have come to an end of the chapter girls learn the chapter and do all the book activities okay thank you stay home and stay safe bye bye